Several memorial services in honor of late Mr. R. Raja Mahendran, the chairman of the Capital Maharaja Group, who passed away on Sunday, were held across the country as well as in Japan. One such special memorial service to invoke blessings on behalf of late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran was held at the Lankaji Temple in Japan under the patronage of Venerable Barnagala Upati Satera, the chairman of the Mahabodhi Society of Sri Lanka and the chief Sanganayaka of Japan. Ambassador of Sri Lanka to Japan, Sanjeev Gunasekara, also attended the memorial service. He always spoke on behalf of the helpless people. He was the person who donated the main statue of Lord Buddha that is placed at this temple. Not only that, he had also donated a number of statues of Lord Buddha to temples across the world. Very happy to join in this seven-day almsgiving of a person who touched many lives. Irrespective of religion, um, creed or color, he helped. He was a, a visionary businessman. He will be missed. And after somebody passes away, the most we can do is do good in their name and transfer merit. So I'm happy to be here at the Lankaji uh, temple with the head priest uh, to uh, pass a merit to him. Another memorial service to invoke blessings on late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran was held opposite the community water project at Arunodaya Gama in Sigiri Mulla Dambulla, which was vested with the people as a project conducted under the first phase of the Gammadhar initiative. The memorial service was organized by the members of the Sigiri Mulla Gammadhar Savir organization. While R. Raja Mahindran was a Hindu devotee, his service to the entire nation was invaluable. Although he did not take credit for what he did or sought fame for it, he looked into the issues of the people in villages and helped them when they were helpless. There are people who invoke blessings on him so that he may reach enlightenment. We must all do that. It is certain that he will attain the bliss of Nibbana. But I also would like to wish for him to be born again in this world so that he can serve this world again. <laughs> Religious observances invoking blessings upon late Mr. R. Raja Mahendran was held at the Andaravava Dharmadutta Ashramaya in Hambantota. The religious service was organized by the Vallava Vam Ura United Farmers Organization. <laughs> Meanwhile, the religious service was also held at the Bodhimalu Viharaya in Ambilipitiya. Blessings were invoked on late Mr. R. Raja Mahendran at the service. The religious service was organized by the Gangayaya Dhatuniyala Farmers Organization who benefited from the Gammadha projects in the past and the residents of Kolonna in Gangemada. A religious service was also held along the bridge leading to the Pilakumbura village that was constructed in 2016. The residents of Pilekumbura, an area under the purview of the Maddekanda Gramanadari Division and the Balanguda Divisional Secretariat, had organized the service. Blessings were also invoked on late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran at the Karwalangasvava Mahakarambava Sri Mahindarama Viharaya. The religious service was organized by the 157 Mahakarambava Gammadda Savir organization. Meanwhile, a number of other religious services were also held today in memory of late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran. A special puja was held at the Patini Kovil in the Andurupola estate in Bulatkohupitiya. The Gammadur initiative had assisted in the renovation of this Kovil. A memorial for late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran was also held at the mosque in Kenya, Trincomalee. 
When the people of this country faced many adversities, he stood for them and helped them. The demise of Mr. R. Raja Mahendran, who performed such a yeoman service to the nation, is a great loss to the country. He is a leader who won the hearts of all communities in the country. We would like to express our condolences to his relatives and loved ones. A memorial service was held at the Gurukumbura Temple in Dambana to invoke blessings on late Mr. R. Raja Mahindran, the founder of Gammadda. The service was organized by the leader of the indigenous community of Dambana, Uruvalige Vanilato. It was under the guidance of the chairman that the Gammadda program went from village to village and looked into the issues of the people that wasn't noticed by other leaders. The demise of a person like that is a massive loss to the entire society. The loss of such a great person will be felt by everyone in this country.